Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to complete the Greatest Warrior Challenge, and we'll take a look at some tips and tricks you can use to complete it as quickly as possible. So most of these missions are pretty easy. It's a five panel system or a five stage system. And the first panel is pretty straightforward. Build a team with six units and clear a stage, clear the study hard, play hard mission, sell a Hercule statue, train a character, Z awaken a character, clear stage four of the new Saiyan Saga Dragon Ball event, use a training location and undergo training. All of them are pretty straightforward and there's nothing really that you should have to focus on or anything that you shouldn't be able to do based on the mission requirements. There's also not that many things you can do to complete uh, the stage faster. Obviously what you can do is things like create a team of six units and then complete the you know turtle training growth event, this event that will then obviously allow you to clear out two of them at once. Same thing when you are training a character, you should probably train a character that you will then Z awaken. Remember, Z awakening is different to the Dokkan awakening. You do not need Dokkan medals, you will just need some Kai medals. So you can grab those from the Bubba shop, you can grab them from mission rewards, you can run the awakening medal stage. And we'll take a look at those uh, a bit later when we complete some more mission goals. But most of these goals and like missions that you have uh, for this first panel are very very easy these are the stock standard tutorial missions these are like the essentials of the game training units awakening a unit uh, building a team most of these you should probably just follow if you are a brand new player and just learn how to essentially start the game uh, the importance of training the importance of the awakening all of those things will help you a lot so if we take a look at the mission goals after this, we'll see that we've now pretty much completed all of them. Uh, our only goal left is to Z awaken a character. I also suggest you claim these rewards as you complete them. Uh, like clearing the study hard play hard event will give you the medals you need to Z awaken your character. So you're going to want to make sure that you claim the rewards as you finish the missions. A lot of them provide rewards that essentially allow you to um, you know, awaken slash like finish units, which I think is pretty important uh, and does help out quite a bit. So it is gonna be something that you do want to do. It's gonna be something that you are going to want to focus on. Uh, and as you clear out each mission, collect the rewards from that mission, and then you should be able to finish it. That was training a character. You don't have to train them with these same units, but that will help you later on with a mission whereby it says raise a unit super attack level, which is also one of the special attack missions or the special missions for the current campaigns. Uh, you can then also, as you can see here, this is called Z awakening a unit. This Goku, uh, well, this is actually Doken awakening. No, this is Z awakening a unit. You'll see here that we raise Goku to have a super physical state. We need a Elder Kai medal. Uh, that Elder Kai you can receive by completing the growth mission that we just completed. So like you can see the rewards kind of push into each other. So don't ever forget to claim a reward. It will more than likely help you finish a mission, especially if you are a new new player and you don't have resources. I could complete all these missions straight away because I have plenty of resources. But it is something you need to know. Please take note that you are receiving 300 treasure gems. You will need those for the next round of missions. So we're going to accept our 10 stones and move on to panel two. Now here it's pretty straightforward. Use any above shop, send a friend request, perform a friend summon, exchange incredible gems for a character, purchase goods with trade points, reach rank 30, win a user support item, and then we also have completing some stages of the Saiyan event, which, you know, isn't too bad. Uh, please do the friend request uh, mission first, as it will give you some points that you need to trade in for items. Uh, buying items with Zenny is pretty straightforward from the Bubba shop, and you should be able to do it relatively easy. Uh, trading points as well uh, is also relatively straightforward. 
uh, and can be done by clicking the trade points tab at the top in the treasure tab you can trade your incredible gems if you are looking for someone to spend it on i suggest the android 18 the strength android 18 the agl cooler the android 13 all of these units you will need later on for lr prime metal ezas if you have already bought them then just buy some training locations for 10 gems it's the cheapest and it will let you save your gems for something else or maybe you're indecisive and don't know yet what to spend it on then the rest of the missions are somewhat straightforward you can see there's a couple missions for completing certain stages in the new story event the threat of the new saiyan warrior race and there's also one for completing certain areas in the quest zone both of those are very straightforward in terms of reaching rank 30 there is currently three times quest xp so making your way through the quest as a brand new player is going to be incredibly helpful to getting you to performing the very best and maximizing all of these so i would suggest working your way through the quest to maximize your xp gain reach rank 30 and then jump back to finishing the saiyan warrior saga uh, but you can see here that for the most part the two missions here that relate to story events do relate to those saiyan warrior saga missions and you can see here i'm going to complete them with this team it's not that difficult there is an inhuman deed category bonus for this stage but you don't necessarily need to do that you just simply have to complete the stage the stage itself is incredibly easy uh, and you can take a much much weaker team than this and complete the stage just make sure that they're operating under the best leads and skills that you can apply at the time uh, just it'll make it faster uh, and will make things go a lot lot smoother Overall, there are quite a few missions that are tied to the new threat, a Saiyan Warrior Race event. So from that perspective, I do suggest that once you have kind of finished maybe the first two or three panels, that you just kind of focus on that event, clearing it out on every difficulty. Um, you're going to need to farm a second copy of Goku from that event you receive a free copy of goku from this event which is really really awesome you are going to need to farm a second copy of goku from that event so please uh, just be aware that you can indeed uh, farm goku from that event the lr goku try and do so while you are finishing these events there are some later missions for things like leveling links and solving a whole bunch of uh, you know, leveling problems and ranking problems so doing that will help you quite a bit and then the last mission really here is use a support item uh, which you can do as I did just by popping any support item in the event itself you do receive 10 support items from your login bonus so just select any support item and you should be fine now for this one we have consume at least 200 stamina this may take a while depending on your account and how quickly you level up uh, you have collect 30 training items, we have collect 30 awakening medals, Z awaken 5 characters, clear stage 2 of an epic showdown on a hard, and Doken awaken the overflowing resolve Goku from this event. So this event here uh, essentially basically it was an original event for getting a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You're going to want to do the stage 2 of that event and then you're going to want to doke and awaken that unit from the medals that you receive should have received some medals from these missions themselves uh, also i suggest doing the countless awakening medals stage and the training at corin tower stage before you try and finish the collect 30 training items and 30 awakening medals both of those missions will help quite a bit with finishing those and then once you've completed all of those you should have enough medals to Z awaken your five characters. So do the awakening medals mission and the Corin Tower training missions first. Collect the rewards from the collect 30 training and 30 awakening medals missions, and you should be able to Z awaken all of your characters. And then obviously uh, getting to the Doken awakening this Goku, you will receive this copy of Goku from that over an epic showdown event. 
you need to first Dokkan Awaken him into his AGL state and then you can Dokkan Awaken him into his Super Saiyan state as well. Uh, if you need these medals, if you do not have them from the mission for some reason, you can get them from Area 10 Stage 3. Uh, so if you do need them, if for some reason you don't have them, you can get them from Area 10 Stage 3. And then the last mission of this panel is to clear Stage 12 of a new threat, the Saiyan Warrior Race. It's pretty straightforward. So, yep, all you have to do is Doken Awaken Goku, uh, which we will do here. That will then Doken Awaken him to his AGL form. You will then have to Doken Awaken him again. Uh, the copy of Goku you get from the Stage 1 of the Epic Showdown event, and the Doken Awakening medals to Doken Awaken him to his Super Saiyan state you get from stage two of the event. Uh, once you've done that, the mission will proc, and then you have completed your final mission of the tab. So if we go back to the tab, you'll see that we've done everything pretty much, uh, and we are basically ready to go, uh, which is fantastic. So we collect all our rewards, a nice chunk of rewards. As I've always suggested, please collect them as you go along. Don't collect them all at the end like me. I'm just doing it so you guys have the best look at how to complete everything. Now in terms of this stage, it's a little bit harder but still shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so you have consume 300 stamina, clear stage 5 of area 1 on Z hard in quest which honestly isn't that bad. It also gives you 9 copies of Goku which is very important. Collect all 7 Dragon Balls, you will have to do quest for this, and wish upon those Dragon Balls, you will have to do quest for this. Level up Soaring Flying Nimbus Goku Super Attack to level 10, you've received 9 copies already, so you should easily be able to get him to level 10, you will have to receive 1 copy from the Saiyan Warrior A New Threat event. Clear a stage using a support item, use a support memory once, and Doken Awaken Goku to his legendary Super Saiyan state. That is with these medals, which come from the Doken event. Uh, you can click on the medals and it will take you there, but it is a Doken event. It is not part of the overflowing resolve missions in the Epic Showdown. So you're going to have to try and complete that uh, of your own accord. You're going to have to go and do that actual Doken event then the rest are pretty straightforward. Like I said, you're going to want to clear stage five of area one on Z-Hard in quest first. That's going to allow you to essentially get the units that you need to easily level up Goku without farming. And then you should be able to proceed from there. You will also need to clear any Doken event. You can clear that Doken event that we spoke about that you will need to awaken the Goku. So, those two go hand in hand, you can easily do that. And then reaching rank 50 should be covered by the act of collecting all seven Dragon Balls. If you need help collecting Dragon Balls, I have attached my Shenron missions uh, and Shenron guide down in the description below. Once you have done that, that will be panel four, uh, which is obviously the second to last panel. And that should give us an additional four copies of Goku. These four copies of Goku you will need to awaken his hidden potential system because you need to get Goku to 100% of his hidden potential system for you to activate everything. So there's a couple missions here. Use 500 stamina, pretty straightforward. Complete any Dragon Ball story or story event 20 times. Level up 50 links in total. This should be kind of completed to some point by the activities you're doing here. If you're struggling with this, we'll take a look at some stages you can auto link level on. Activate 100% of Goku's hidden potential system. This you can do with those four copies that we spoke about before. You do not have to awaken them to an LR. You can do this with the TUR version. Clear in the search of greater power, God level intensive training. This is the growth mission for equipment. Equip a skill orb. This you can get and do after you receive the equipment from that event. Clear stage one of Pan's secret adventure and win any extreme Z battle once. So pretty straightforward. Um, in terms of how to complete or do certain things, 
so your best bet's going to be to run through this event as I suggested before. That's going to help you with clearing the story event 20 times. It's also going to help you with farming your second copy of Goku. You need to complete this event so that you can get the 12 stages done. There's a lot of stones here. Just there's a lot of reasons to do this event and if you are looking to complete any Dragon Ball story or story event 20 times I do suggest doing so with that event. Then in terms of link leveling the best stage currently that I have seen from online is to do area 8 stage 9. If you auto battle here you do get 6 guaranteed battles uh, which does help in terms of link leveling uh, and I got to 50 with a team that was basically all level 1 links quite quickly it took about 3 or 4 attempts so it wasn't too hard uh, at all then in terms of the growth mission obviously that's very easy under the growth tab you will find the mission there and you'll also find Pan's mission as well I suggest obviously you have to do the first difficulty but you don't have to do a set difficulty on it you just have to clear stage 1 and once you've done that, that will be the fifth panel completed and you'll receive your final set of bonuses. Once you've done that, the game will have automatically given you the awakening medals for Goku. So you'll see here it's given us all of the resources for Goku. Uh, you can see Goku here, we have every single medal available. What you're going to want to do now depending if it's your first or second copy it's the second copy of goku for me i farmed a copy already from the story event i do suggest getting this copy first they give you everything to have this copy to sa10 and to awaken them to allah which means you only really have to farm 10 copies of goku from the story event and farm the medals for him so i do suggest getting this copy first also don't make the mistake and don't can awaken him to an lr uh, I do that here and I've Doken Awakened him with only a 6 out of 10 SA because I was in a rush and I didn't look properly. So basically, um, basically it's kind of a silly mistake for me but obviously don't do that. Make sure you get your copy to SA 10 before you awaken it to an LR state and you should be able to feed this copy into your LR Goku which I will do now. Obviously. Uh, I am left with four copies over because I farmed 14 copies originally from the story event instead of doing this panel mission first. As long as you, doesn't really matter which direction you do it around, just make sure that you only farm the requisite copies, otherwise you're wasting a little bit of stamina. And for me, I'm wasting a little bit of Kai's. But everything is pretty straightforward and that's how you complete all of the panel missions. So there's plenty of stones and a really cool allow for completing it and it's relatively straightforward. So let me know if you guys enjoyed the video or leave a comment or a like if you didn't. And yeah, that's it from me. But as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.